Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 3rd of December, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of our dear Saint, Saint Francis Xavier. So a very happy feast of Saint Francis Xavier to India. Saint Francis Xavier is someone who is very dear to us. He once said, Millions might be easily converted if there were more preachers who would sincerely mind the interests of Jesus and not their own interests. So dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God's providence brought a soldier of Christ to India. His name was Francis Xavier. He is known as the modern day Saint Paul for the impact of preaching and missionary activity that he had. He was from the noble family in Navarre, Spain, where he wanted to pursue philosophy and ecclesiastical uh, career. But his father, who was the president of the Royal Council, put him into the famed University of Paris for this. There at that university, for two years, he was in company of St. Ignatius of Loyola, who would again and again ask him the same question. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world if he suffers the loss of his own soul? Born on 7th April 1506 to Don Juan de Jasu, and Maria de Alpichueto, Francis was among the band of seven, first band of seven. He was the second among the seven, who were the first ordained among the Jesuits. Ordained priest on 24 June 1537, he celebrated his first Mass after 40 days of fasting and prayer. So when there was a need for the priest to be sent to Bologna, he was already the secretary to Ignatius in Rome. But he, out of obedience, went to the Indies after uh, 13 months of travel, finally reached Goa. Reaching Goa, the first thing that he got himself busy was learning the local language then nursing people, comforting people, preaching and teaching the children and the people. He had his own methods. So when he was at Goa and even anywhere, the first thing he used to do is he used to take a bell in hand and attract the children, ringing the bell all through the village. Then from first will, uh, children, he used to go to the mothers and then to the fathers. And that's how slowly he used to capture the whole village. He converted thousands of fishermen, thousands of people to God. This novel method, especially among the pearl fishers uh, of Tamil Nadu from Goa when he came down, was really successful. He used to say, I let them enter through their own doors, but when they go out, they should go out through my door. The year 1542, he went to Ceylon, so from Goa he started, came down Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and then went to Ceylon. From Ceylon, that is Sri Lanka, he went to Malacca, Spice Islands. Then from there, uh, he met a Japanese, uh, a Japanese fugitive who led him to Fra Japan. There he stayed and there he started a church which after 40 years had 40,000 or 4 lakh Christians, such a huge number by the mission of this one person. And then from there the civilization, Chinese civilization he found in Japan led him to go towards China. So he had a huge desire to go to China, so he got some uh, pirates, Chinese pirates, who told that they will smuggle him into China because China kingdom, it was really strict to enter then. But before this could happen, he died. 
and after his death his body was brought to goa and it was found fresh even after two months of burial and we know uh, after that the hand was cut at the elbow and taken to the church of the jesu at the jesuit uh, general claudio wanted it to be enshrined there Mm. Saint Francis Xavier was beatified in 1619 and canonized in 1622. In ten years of his missionary labor, Saint Francis Xavier worked in over 50 kingdoms, enabling him to win almost million souls for God. He is known as the Apostle of the Indies. So, dear brothers and sisters, the fervor, the fire that he had in him was so huge. that he could not resist language was not a, was not a barrier for him difficulties was not a barrier kings were not barrier 50 kingdoms he worked in so 50 kings he had to deal with kings and their power was not a barrier for him temperature weather conditions was not a barrier for him all of these he used as an instrument to proclaim christ and he touched so many souls how many souls am i touching through my life he converted millions how many do i why converting is only for saints eh? bringing people to god is only a thing of past who will take the word of my god to the ends of the world i will if each one of us thinks like that thinking about interests of jesus and not our own selfish interests then we will really be the reasons for the spread of christ in the world amen